Hey guys, it's your boy Luke here from Dungeoneers, and on the last couple of my videos, I've been getting some comments asking how I have my font changed to a custom font in Black Desert Online. I actually really am not a big fan of the default font for Black Desert. I find it's just not quite readable. Obviously, I'm kind of blind. You know, I like to have it a little bit bolder. So today, I'm going to show you guys how you can create and use any custom font that you want in Black Desert and a few that I actually would personally recommend if you're looking for something a little bit more readable. So the first thing you're going to do, guys, is you're going to open up your file explorer. You're going to go to your PC, open up wherever you have Black Desert installed to. I have mine on my C drive. Open up the Pearl Abyss folder and the Black Desert folder. Now, what you're looking for is to make sure that you are in the same folder that has your bin 64, your cache, your locales, uh, all these types of folders. Okay, you're going to make a brand new folder called pre-string table, P-R-E-S-T-R-I-N-G-T-A-B-L-E, -E, all lowercase. Okay, I don't know if it's, you know, sensitive with capital letters or not, just make sure it's all lowercase. You're going to make that as an empty folder. Inside that folder, you're going to make another folder called font, F-O-N-T, all lowercase again. In this folder is where you're going to put your custom font. Okay, now... When you put your font in here, there's something very important you have to do. First off, you have to rename it Pearl, like Pearl Abyss, and it has to be a TTF file. You can't use a font file that is not a TTF and then rename it TTF. It has to be a true type font file. Uh, the good news is Google Fonts, which I highly recommend. They have some really nice high quality fonts. Pretty much all of their fonts are in TTF files. And what I'm currently using is actually called Poppins, which is one of the ones I'm going to recommend. You install the font and you leave it in here and you rename it Pearl. Okay, that's all you need to do. So again, go to your PC where you have BDO installed, Pearl Abyss, Black Desert, make a file, a folder called pre-string table, and then in there one called font. And then you're going to drag whatever font you want in here and then rename it Pearl. Okay, now. As for where you can get some good fonts and ones I recommend, I recommend you use Google Fonts. Okay, Google Fonts has tons of phenomenal options. They work really, really well. It, there's a lot. I mean, you can use whatever you want as long as it's a true type font file, a TTF file. You can use whichever kind you want. Uh, I just find Google has a lot of really, really nice ones. Um, so a couple that I would recommend. First off is going to be Poppins. This is the one that I use. I find it extremely legible. It's very easy to read. Um, it has a bunch of different styles as well. So obviously you can pick sort of your bold level that you want. I find Black Desert does quite a bit better with bolder fonts. I find it much easier to read just because Black Desert uses the same font for everything, whether it's the name above monsters heads, uh, your item and menus, like everything uses the same font. So increasing readability just makes everything much nicer at a glance. Um, there will be some issues you'll come up with some of them, you know, when you're in your skill menu, the arrows might not work necessarily right. Um, there are ways of fixing that. You can look up online how to import arrows and stuff in. I just don't really bother with it. I find 99.9% .9 of the time, everything works out no problem. Uh, now, I like to use mine a little bit bold. So depending on how I'm feeling, I either use uh, bold or extra bold. But I believe if you've been watching my recent videos, I'm using bold 700 uh, under the Poppins font. This is the one that I've been using. Another great one people really like to recommend is Roboto. Roboto is pretty much a certified hood classic font. You really can't go wrong with it. Um, nice. The Roboto Bold is another one that's really, really good. I just, something about the Poppins just jumps out at me, but just get something that your eyes find comfortable. You know, you're going to be doing a lot of reading if you're playing Black Desert. So make sure you get something legible. Roboto is a really, really nice one. Uh, Anton, if you're looking for something that's a little bit closer together, you know, this type of font, uh, it is bold, so obviously it's still very legible, but it squishes the letters together a lot closer, so you can get a lot more information on the screen at one time. If you're a big chatter and you like having a ton of stuff in chat at one time, um, stuff like that, this is another really, really good one. Again, very legible. Uh, this one's Anton. I'm going to be linking all these fonts down in the description below. Feel free to click on the description and go that way. Um, they're all completely free as well. Uh, New Amsterdam is another one that's kind of a little bit more stylized. It's still a bold font. Um, it's still, you know, very legible, very, very nice, um, but it has a little bit more style to it. You can see the A's are kind of unique. Um, the ways that they do like just certain letters kind of have just a little bit more, you know, style to them, just something a little bit different. 
Um, Bebass New is another one that I really, really recommend. I actually use this for a lot of thumbnails and stuff. You may actually recognize this font if you recognize my thumbnails. Um, this is just another, like I said, this one's a little bit squished up again, a little bit more information on screen at one time, but these are all ones that, as you can see, they're all bold. They all have no serifs, which are the little, you know, wingling things hanging off the sides of the letters. Those work great when you're reading like paper text and stuff, but when you're reading something on a computer screen, having no serifs just makes things just look a little bit cleaner, you know, a little bit easier to read, especially when you have a, a big fat block of text. Um, so I'll show you. So what we would do. So you would just go ahead down here, hit get font. It'll ask you which one you want, right? For So we would just hit, uh, these are actually ones, these are font families. So if we were to do, let's say, I mean, I already have Poppins in here. So maybe we'll show you what it would be like if we did Roboto. So we would grab Roboto bold, hit get font, uh, and then scroll down to, where is it? Get font. I might actually already have it downloaded. Download all, there we go. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now, we have the font downloaded, right? So we decided to download a couple different ones here. Extract all your files out. Then it'll be complete. Uh, we're going to do, we'll show you how it work with Roboto. So we would want the variable width. We don't, or not variable width, sorry. We would want the static one. This will download the whole family. Uh, so we would use like Roboto Bold, for example. Double click it, install to your system. I already have this one installed, but that's okay. Hit yes, it's done. Now you can press F2 to rename it. You're going to rename it Perl, P-E-A-R-L, all lowercase. Hit enter. And then open up your second file, the one, the folder that we made earlier, right? Which is going to be in your C drive, wherever you install BDO, Perl Abyss, Black Desert, Pre-String Table, Font. And then just drag your Perl into here. And then boot up your game. It's just that simple, guys. I highly recommend changing it. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of of the default font that BDO uses. I just find if my monitor is pushed back or I'm not too close to it, or maybe I don't feel like having my glasses on, it's just not super legible. I find it a little bit too thin. These are ones that I would highly recommend that you use. Just makes everything look a million times better. And just mess around. You know, I know people who use all sorts of crazy fonts. I know people who've thrown in like Comic Sans or like graffiti fonts. You can use whatever you want. You can make your BDO look however you want. It's your experience. Do what you like. But those are the ones that I would recommend. I'll leave a link to all of them down in the description below. And I hope you have a great rest of your evening.